Alright gamers, welcome back! We're playing Regions of Ruin, and thank you so much for joining me. Guys, hope you're having a great morning. Little game here, we're trying something new called Regions of Ruin. A little RPG slash strategy, city building a little bit involved. It's kind of neat. I've been playing this for quite a while, and I said, you know what? Let's make a little video about this. This is a little known game, but it was recently featured in Humble Bundle, I believe. But anyways, uh, here it is. Region of Ruin. Side-scrolling. A little bit funny in the way of controls. Let's just start a game here. Let's go regular human difficulty. I'm not going to play with control. I'm going to play mouse and key keyboard, which is... Yeah... Yeah, not exactly this, but, um, whoo, okay. Dwarven kin had led a golden age of complacency across the continent. The great centaur human war, however, caused the dwarves to shun the overworld. Their cast lords, or caste lords, locked themselves into the mountains for centuries. When the dwarves finally opened, ending centuries of silence, what the dwarves discovered was that the entire continent had changed. Neither human nor centaur remained. The land, once bustling with activity and trade, was now peppered with goblin lich and kobold enclaves. The doors now opened and countless thousands of covetous dwarven kin fought fiercely but were soon exiled to the surface, enslaved, captured and ousted from their homes. Now far from their mountain cores, far from their heritage, the dwarves slowly sought to reconquer the lands. That's what we're gonna do, baby. With the dwarven race scattered, mere refugees and vagabonds, it will take a hero to bring them together and restore the once mighty Dwarven Kingdom. That hero, people, is us. That's right. We're going to be like a little side-scrolling sprite guy. Where are we? Boy, we don't even have hair. Look at us. This guy's awesome. So the controls are W-A-S-A-D. So it's like, right? You got like A and D to go sideways. S doesn't do squat at the moment because they have to climb stuff. But it's W to jump. Which, let me tell you, that's crazy. Like, I prefer space, but because you have this, ooh, this little ability here, that's the space button. Anyway, let's talk to our guy here. He's got issues. Use E to interact. Let's go. Oh, enter to get out of that. There we go. It seems my wheel has broken off my wagon. I'll need some wood to get it fixed. Think you can help. So down at the bottom, you got one, two, three. You actually can scroll with W and S as well, and then press just press enter. So any rumors, buddy? I think there's a nice place nearby where we can start our settlement, but we'll need to get there first. Wood. Yes, I'll need about 10 wood to get... It back up and on its feet. You might be able to find some around here, which I will. Don't you worry. He's a caravan leader. It's my job to take the caravan wherever is required. And his advice is to take your time looking for resources. You can find them in more places than you might think. And then we just wa walk on. Okay, this is like tutorial. Can I not skip the tutorial? <laughs> Press E. Little short axe pops out. This guy tries to talk to me. A big I want nothing to do with it. Let's just smash things, shall we? Let's go. Give me some coins. Press I to open inventory. Yeah, so let's look at that actually real quick. You can double click, right click, or drag items to equip. No problem. Let's go. It's automatically equipped when we picked it up here. So we got a little short axe. See, it does damage one to three. Two max cleaving, whatever the heck that means. Let's go. Wooden buckler. It's got armor five of five, and it's a 5% physical resistance. So we are good to go. This guy's going to need a helmet for real. And as a matter of fact, I think it probably shows we got four coins as well. So a little side scroller here. The jumping is awkward. You know, when you're used to that space button for jumping, let me tell you, the controls can, you can be really like furious with the controls. But if you can get past that, this game is actually a ton of fun. Uh, there's an enemy ahead. Make sure you equip weapon. You'll need something to strike with. So there's a bit of a tutorial. Can I not? I wish I could skip the tutorial. Maybe, maybe I can. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Come on, buddy. You hold shift. Then I'm going to shield. Oh, get wrecked, buddy. We didn't even see the tutorial. There it is again. Okay, hitting a shield will stun you momentarily. You'll need to use a power hit to break through an enemy shield. Oh, is that right? I didn't even know that. <laughs> One is a block. Bam, buddy. So power attack. Oh, okay. Power attack is like right click. Oh, stink. Man. This guy wants a piece of me. Oh, and left click is like a quick attack. I'm getting wrecked, man. Is my... There. You're about to get owned. There you go, buddy. 23 experience points. It's like, you see it's flashing there, left mouse button to attack, right mouse button power hit, hold left shift to shield, you need to read those things, you can't move on. Now you can just, there's these poor bunnies here, they get smashed up to get resources, like this. Bunch of apples. Leather vest. Let's pick up, okay there's an archer up there. Are we gonna get, can you get your coin here, is there anything else to smash here? I'm in perfect health, let's have a quick look at the inventory here. There, okay. So we got shield and armor now. So there's two of these guys. We're gonna. Can, is our shield still working, guys? Okay. There are some archers ahead. <laughs> this tutorial is too much. If you use your shield, you can block their projectiles. Be careful. They will do a lot of damage otherwise. Okay, we're coming in hot. Okay. 
Pressing space while moving will dash and can be used to avoid attacks and projectiles. Hitting an enemy from behind will do double damage and avoid their shield so you won't get stunned. So actually, that's really cool actually if you can get behind the guy. Oh, I'm stuck on something. This guy's got to get wrecked. Okay, we're going up. Oh, he's still down there. I thought this guy was dead. Okay, they're both dead now. Did you see that? This guy's a beast. Look at him, healing and everything. Hold, left shift the shield. Right, I got that. We took him out. Now, are these apples not coming with us? Are we full? No. Let's see here. So you get down here, you see your resources. You got some wood, apples. You're going to want to pick stuff up as you go. You don't want to miss all that stuff because that's how you build your settlement. What do we got here? Battle axe. Let's go. Okay. I think that's actually better, right? So it shows you the little green arrows there. You can see them. So you got cleaving is up. Two to three damage. Critical chance is up. Critical damage is up. So if I right click it, bam. He, he starts he starts wielding it like a champ. All right, let's go. Next enemy is facing the other way. You can sneak up on him without being noticed getting uh, or being seen. Getting a surprise attack will do tremendous damage. So you hit C, just like in Skyrim, baby. The little eyeball here. Look at that. Elder Scroll sneak. And look at me disappearing. Look at me. Look at this. He's behind the tree now. Look at this. They're sneaking in this game. When I saw that, I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get wrecked, buddy. All right, we're still sneaking. We're still sneaking. Is there anything here we can trash? Okay, the next enemy is facing towards you, but you can use objects like crates, chests, and rubble to remain concealed. Let's go. We're not... Oh, okay. We probably shouldn't have smashed our crate. Okay, let's go. Shh. We're hiding behind the rocks. You see that? He's got a question mark, so he's freaking out. Now, you won't be spotted immediately if you aren't undercover. You have a short window of time before you're revealed. So... Oh, you got wrecked area clear, buddy. There it is. Okay, so that's that part's kind of easy. It's, it's this jumping business. We want to get up there and find that chest. That's for sure. Just before we let that guy go. What do you got here for me? Vol... What was that? Two to three damage. So that's exactly the same damage as what we already got, apparently. And this thing, it's up eight, eight. This is five. Physical resistance is not as much. I think we'll just leave it be. We're okay. We're not, we're not getting hurt. So a dwarf in a cage here, you can rescue him. May wish to join your dwarven army. For sure I do. Open sesame, he pops out. We talk to him. There's some wooden stock. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay, have you come to save me? I sure have, buddy. What's your rumors? They say the continent is almost entirely overrun. I'm not sure if there are even any dwarf settlements left. I'm here to save them. Thank the heavens. They were going to eat me. Please, I'm a trained physician. I'm sure you could use my services. Occupation, he's a trained physician. He could heal me for two coins. Which, let's do that, as a matter of fact. And advice, uh, if I've learned anything lately, it isn't safe to wander around on your own. So press space while moving the dash, jump. Uh, oh, he wants me to jump dash. Okay, so this is like a little... Yeah, the first little bit here is... So this is what I mean by super difficult. Okay. You reach to a smash... That little jump there, that's not easy, man. I don't know. Well, it takes some getting used to. It's not that it's not... It's not that it's hard. It just takes some getting used to. When you're used to that space button, let me tell you. All right, so we're good to go. So now I should have unlimited dash because there's no bad guys. Ooh. Okay, we're not skip. Oh, that's how you skip the tutorial, by the way. Walk off the map. All right, let's go back and see our guy here. Let's dash over here. So they don't seem to respawn. We kind of like clear the area. What food is useful commodity? You'll need it. Yeah, no problem. Why is there some here? Why is it telling me that now? Stinkers. Here he is. We completed the task, buddy. Let's. So let's go. We get number two here is wood down at the bottom. So he says, yeah, you can change your key bindings. Yeah, no problem. He says, perfect, this should work just fine. So now, with the wagon finally fixed, you head west. The area near the Vale is lush and expansive, more than enough to house hundreds of dwarves. Fantastic, let's build a little fort. You are unsure how many dwarves remain in these lands, but a strong rally shall be uh, beckon them and your colony will grow. Okay, let's go, let's go. So check this out, it starts off really simple. So that, oop. Press E to what? To construct a building. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which is what this big floating hammer is right here. You just stand there when you press E. See if it's it's if it's grayed out, you're not gonna do anything. But if you stand here, it, it fills in. And So these guys all have things they want me to do. If I talk to this Jamoke here, he says, this is a great place to start a settlement. All we need is a couple of workers to help gather material. So if I go down to number two, which is what he's talking about, workers. So, so if we help our kin, they will surely aid us. There's a goblin encampment nearby. So you see new location at the top of the screen there. So he's put a new thing on our map, which we're going to check out here in a sec. Perhaps they've captured one of our brothers. Unacceptable. Oh, wait, what? This guy's got more? Uh, what about advice? Always look out for a source of materials. We'll need all sorts of things to build up settlement. Oh, number one, maybe rumors? There's a farm nearby. 
sure I'd be a good source of food. So there it is again, new location. That's it. You want to go through these little conversation choices. Uh, workers, we did. Occupation, I don't even care if anyone's going to tell me the same thing. If I choose travel, he, it pulls up the map, right? So we'll take a look at that in a second here. Let's talk to this guy here. He's our, he's our medical guy, I guess, our physician. So we could use a storage tent to keep supplies for more construction. So what rumors have you heard? I know a few nearby safer areas. So new location added. Uh, you'll need to scout the area, though, before you can travel there. So storage tent, what does he have to say? Yes, the storage tent would be a good start for the settlement. You'll need to gather some wood and gather, oh, and leather to build one. His occupation is a trained physician. He doesn't need to heal me. And his advice, some armor is so tough, it can completely block a troll's bludgeoning. Right. So if I press E, the only thing I can build right now is a campfire, which I definitely have enough wood. You've built a campfire. Use it to level up your skills. You're right. You can't level up mid-game. So there is like role-playing. There's skills and there's um, like there's um. Well, we'll take a look at it here in a second. But there's like strength, dexterity, and constitution. But um, so exploring nearby region. Press M to open the map and click on it to explore new areas. Right. So it says there on the screen, just below my guy there. Press P to level because now I'm in front of the fireplace. So so this is it here. A little explanation here of what you can do. Uh, large icons like this will unlock different abilities and you can toggle between them to change the behavior of your appropriate move, right? And smaller icons like these are passive bonuses and once they are unlocked, they'll stay in effect indefinitely. So we'll use these icons to scroll around on top here. So these right up here. First things first, strength and dexterity constitution is all at zero. You'll see right here, we got one point. I think what we'll do right off the bat, I guess we'll go, we'll go strength, right? Now, this one here is already kind of lit up. Right, enable this ability to make standard quick slashes with the left mouse button. That's already a go. So this is something completely enables blah, blah, blah. And then this is what? Add bleeding damage over six seconds to enemies, which is pretty good, actually. Can I? Do I have skill? Oh, yeah, there's a skill point right here. Right? But there's also throwing knives. This is throwing skill tree. Unlock the first ability to help a, um, to be able to throw axes, uh, which is fantastic, by the way. You just, hold, you just hit the F button. And he starts throwing axes, so I'm definitely doing that. You've unlocked the throwing axe ability. So it just explains how to do it right there. We already know how to do it. Let's go. Okay. So over here, what's it going to take for us to build storage? So we can do storage now that we've had the campfire. Uh, you can do a blacksmith to fix your stuff and, what, and so on. So we need some leather. We're going to have to go find some leather. So check this out. There, there's nothing here, right? This is just a big empty map. Uh, where we're going to be building our fort and this and that. So... It's getting dark, man. Let's go hang out by the campfire, shall we? There we go. Okay, so you pull up your map. So click on the map region to explore it further. And it uh, the more food it will cost. So the further away it is, the more food it will cost, okay? So I can't zoom in here or anything like that. I can't mouse wheel in or out, whatever, because I guess this entire thing is a map of places to go. Because look, 200 and, well, about to about here, right? Yeah, about here, 260, 266. So that's how big the map is, right? All these areas you can explore it goes all the way up here i guess and then all the way down here yeah that's quite something so you see all these ones that are flashing if you hover over them the caravan master told me there's a farm nearby so that's it right and then over here is the caravan master told me he suspects a goblin encampment so let's go to the farm i guess what is this one over here that doesn't say anything what's going on i want that one right there no okay it's not going to give me any in tool tip there it was just random all right so a farm nearby. So if I click on this farm, oh yeah, we can't go there because it's not explored. So you see this little circle here? I just gotta go like this. I'm gonna try to get all of them one shot. It's gonna cost me 16 food. You really wanna explore that, you know? Bam. So now it's explored, and now I can actually fast travel there. So let's go to this farm, see what's over there. It's whether it's gonna be food or it's gonna be, I'm not sure. <laughs> let's get over there and find out. So each of those little spots there is somewhere you can travel to on the map, and there's basically bad guys, or sometimes it's not bad guys, it's just like a place you want to explore, or there's a guy you want to meet. So if we go this way, what happens? Usually left leaves the map, but not always. Like in this case, we're not leaving the map for some reason. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nothing is... Is this stuff I can smash? No. We've got to check stuff that you can smash, because that's kind of cool. Okay, here's all stuff I can smash all of this. Doesn't matter if there's NPCs around or not. You can just smash everything. There. And you might want to check too, because, yeah, you see, look, 50 food. So you really don't need any more food now, because you can't carry any more food. Our little storage spot. There's stuff inside the house here, too. I do want the coins, though. That's how we get healed up. So there's a guy here with a mission. What does he have to say? Hello, traveler. I can use your help getting rid of some kobolds. They're a real nuisance. All right, so let's go to his rumors. Does he know anything? I heard there's a cave near here. You could explore it if you like. I'll mark it on your map. So there you go. More locations. Okay, the kobolds. 
My farm keeps getting overrun with kobolds, and I haven't got the strength to chase them away. I'll reward you if you can get rid of them, which I will do. Occupation, he is a regular farmer, and his advice is, if you're here to help, feel free to whatever supplies. Okay, I'm going to his house too, I think. Yeah, let's go check out these things here real quick. Can't grab the... Can't grab the... Apples there, but I can grab the money. Also, you can hit these trees. Bring down a bunch of food. Oh, okay, there's kobolds here. Oh, you're throwing the axe the wrong way, buddy. There, get it wrecked. Oh! Are they still alive, these stinking things? Oh, that was my shield, buddy. That was my shield. How you like them? You ain't shielding. Oh, you got wrecked. Did you see that? I actually blocked the gun. He went like, bow. Awesome sound effects, I know. Okay, so we can actually do this. Bam! Right in your noggin, son! Oh, I totally missed him. There. My guy's hurt pretty bad too, eh? Look at that. So it says there, contused hand, split lower back, sustaining minor wounds. Oh, gee, okay. I love how that cuts through everybody. What are they trying to throw them at me too? He ain't getting me. These guys are getting wrecked. Poison blood. Okay, did we get all these guys? All right, is there more? It's kind of nice if you just sneak up on them. What is this down here? Oh, I'm killing rabbits. Okay. What the? Okay, I don't know what that was right there. So is there any more guys? Oh yes, oh yes, there's a guy right there. So these guys can see pretty far. I wonder if I can't. There you go, buddy, eat that. Oh, get wrecked. And then? And then? Oh! Okay, a little closer. And then? <laughs> He's not even coming my way. Fantastic. Oh. Two piece? Or not? Okay. There, do you see the question marks on her head? Oh, that might have been too far. No. So that's why you need the axe for real. Oh, he's not dead? Why was my guy... Oh, okay, it's my stamina down there. My little yellow bar. He said I wasn't going to be doing any of that. It was flashing. Get up. Oh, that's the, that's a good hit. You got to launch them. Oh, there's a bunch of guys here. There you go, buddy. Oh. Oh, critical, baby. Oh, you see that little slow motion, too? That's awesome. Area cleared. You've successfully cleared this area. Look at me. I'm like, the screen is red. You can open your map to travel either to blah, 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 blah. Okay, very good. Let's just let's just make sure we get all the loot first. How about that? And then all of a sudden, it's back down. See, there says battle axe here, so I can pick that up. Get all of that. It's a treasure chest right here. Oh, there's a book there, which is E to pick up. So you found your first book segment. It's been added, added to your compendium. You can view it under the journal menu. And you click the icon, blah, 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 from the toolbar. So you can actually, you know, where, where is that? It's here. Click on journal. So you can select your journal or the compendium, basically. So journal is basically what all the guys have been telling you. The grayed out ones are complete. But this is like the caravan told me, uh, caravan master told me to suspect a goblin encampment. So that one still needs to be done. This one, it's just kind of like, in case you're wondering what to do, you know. But I haven't found that I've really had to use it. Now, compendium, because I mean, you just go places. <laughs> you just go places. If it's not whited out on your map, uh, basically, and uh, you can just go there and finish up whatever needs to be finished up. Now, compendium, this is just books. You click on Book of Norn. I guess uh, there's some reading to be done here or something. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there. Page three. Somehow we got page three. I, I don't know. I haven't really re read any of that. Heater is what? A shield? Is this better than what we got? 9-9 nine, nine armor rating. Hmm. The 5% physical resistance is pretty hard to beat, though. Critical chance, max cleaving. Max cleaving is three. No, I'm not going to switch out. None of these are better. Not in my opinion, anyway. Okay, let's go get that other chest. Just coinage. And this is leather. I know, right? Sweet. Okay, which is exactly what we came for. If we look up our inventory, we've got 42. So we can just pull up our map, right? How much do we have? We have 50 food. So let's do a little exploring. How about like under here? 25? Let's do it. Can we do another, say 15 right here? 16? Okay, look at that. So we're, f we're finding stuff. Okay, because there was like a bunch of food over here, right? 
now that we can kind of move fast. Let's get them off the tree, too. Something tells me. Where you going? There's stinking apples. Look at them all here. You leave that behind and it's just going to get wasted. So since we're here, actually, let's let's keep going. Let's go. 30 more of those. Bam. And then, what do we got? 19? Hmm. We don't have enough. Right, let's get more. Let's get these apples. So you're going to want to like upgrade your storage right away. Let me see here. What else can we do with this map? So this way they want us to go eventually. So let's explore a bit that way. Ooh. What do we got? 17. That's going to be, what, 12 to explore that? Okay, sounds good. No, there's nothing there. That's why. All right. Grab these guys. It's just a way for us to explore the map, really. Sweet. Oh, let's get the let's get the reward from this guy, too. So you've gotten rid of all those cobalts? I sure have, buddy. Good riddance. Good riddance. <laughs> those, those damn things will never leave me alone. Please uh, come again in case they bother me again. Okay, I highly doubt they will, though, buddy. So let's keep working a little bit on the map here. Can we go right here? Oh, there's some water down here. Okay. Because I think he had oh, he had like apples inside his house too. If I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right. I almost pressed space there. Almost. So now that this place is open, basically, we should be able to get or eventually get. Where where are we? Now we're here with this kind of funny icon. I know it's super hard to see, but. Like, here's these flashing ones are all where they've told me to go. So it's kind of like a good thing to start there, right? It's kind of smart to start <laughs> where they tell you to go. Um, because you start going down south here and you're going to get yourself in some serious trouble. Okay, so let's go like that. Oh, there's another another cave. Look at that. So let's hold on to some food. Let's hold on to some food. I think there's more here. Did I... Man, that's a noisy door. What is that? All right, let's get back to our to our home camp here you don't have to you can actually talk to the guy with the wagon you can walk off the screen or just use your map to travel back to your campsite which is you know depends how much you want to get into that kind of thing but there you go that's what the the building is like I, mean, I should say that's what the fighting is like in this game it's pretty good I, I mean it's 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 tough though it gets really tough um just because of the jumping and then some of the bad guys have some pretty some pretty sharp weapons and some of them are big and tough too so okay so now we're back here Oh, we should ask this guy to heal us. 15 coins. It's worth every cent. There we go. Okay, so if we come over here, we press E. Can we build storage? Let's go. You can upgrade buildings. So we get the first level of storage, which is this little pathetic tent here. But now instead of 50 of each item, I think it's, what is it? 150 or something like that? Which, of course, is the next level for wood, right? So let's go talk to this guy. He should be pretty happy about us completing that mission here. Storage tent. Now that we have a storage tent, we should find some workers to help us fill it up. Press P to level up once again. Okay, so dexterity, I believe, is... Um, what did I say? Dexterity increases critical hit chance and damage. It also improves ranged attack. So uh, let's go a little ranged attack. Let me tell you, that range stuff is sweet. Also, bleeding effect is sweet as well. <laughs> We're going to go with die. We get a guy, get a hit on a guy and he starts bleeding. It's fantastic. Okay, so pull up our map. They told me, what did they tell me? Our physician showed me some places on the map to explore. Okay. The caravan master told me he suspects a goblin camp is not far from our settlement. So let's go there. Let's go take care of that business for a second. Because I think there's going to be a worker there. And what happens is when you save a worker, hopefully we get to show you that. Like, we saved the dwarf just now, but he's our physician. But there's other guys that are just workers. And then I can send them to places where we've already cleared out. And have them collect the resources from that area. Which, I don't think it shows you yet, eh? Let me just see. No, I hover over these things. It doesn't show you until until we have a worker. So, let's go get a worker. Because that you got to see. Like, this looks like a forested area to me. There are some goblins ahead. Remember to save your game. Ah, nobody tells me what to do. Let's go. We're playing like champions here, man. I'm saving your games for... Chumps. Oh, okay. That was a terrible throw. Let's go. Oh, man. This guy. I'm. I'm. Bam. Get wrecked. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There's our friend. You see how they look to where I hit? Oh, right in the back of the noggin. Go. Oh, okay. There's a guy. Oh, yeah. Is that an archer up there? Get him! Oh, yeah! That's right. So if we hit him in the back, we're, like, doing way better. But what are you going to do? 
You got on, buddy. That's what happened right there. That guy got hit like a chump. I can't hit that guy up there, huh? There. A little soft one. You got wrecked as well. You got wrecked as well. Area cleared. All right, let's open this chest first. You just sit in that cage. You've been there the whole time. You'll be just fine, buddy. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. So, leather helmet. Let's... That doesn't look like a leather helmet. Let's take this thing out. All right, let's go save our buddy. There's a guy in here. You hold E down. Opens that right up. The guy's standing there. Thanks for your help. I would have been done for. Okay. You hit rumors. It doesn't matter. He just says, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you ask him. He's getting out. So, he leaves and he becomes... Well, he joins our little party. In fact... Let's have a look here. See now it says Goblin Encampment has 300 wood. So, so actually, let's just let's just no no. I didn't want to get completely out of that. Let's head on back. I'm gonna show you something here. We're just gonna do this real quick, and then maybe in the next episode we'll play a little bit more because you got to see like as we unlock places on that map, and there's there's tons of environments. There's like you you can see the cactuses and things. There's also like caves and this and that. So look at all these guys here. Okay. So this guy wanted a worker, right? This place is a great start. So here's the workers is number two. So if I hit that, excellent. Now that we have a worker, we can send them to different places to harvest resources. Just show them where to go on the map. Okay, we will do. What does this guy want here? This guy what? Greetings, Cheryl. Fine settlement you have here. I'm an adept builder. I thought my skills could be of use here. Oh, okay. <laughs> there are some cotton farms north of here. I'm not sure how many are still running, but I uh, it'd be worth a look. This guy has skills. Speaking of skills, we ought to have a blacksmith here. I know a fellow nearby, or who lives nearby. Perhaps you could talk to him. And, and, well, talk him into coming to your settlement. Okay, joining. Uh, his occupation is a foreman. His advice is keep an eye on your workers. Make sure they aren't slacking off. Which is true, because once a place runs out of resources, you'll see. So this explains it right here. If you want to have a read, <laughs> be my guests. But it's pretty easy. Like, if we come over here, okay, I'm going to click on the trees. It's got wood, right? Uh, if we click on this farm over here, that's food, right? Now, we're a little short on wood, and we're going to need wood. I think we need 150 wood, right? So we just press the plus button, and the guy, this guy right here, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. All right, <laughs> he's going to get geared up. He looked like I used to look. I used to look like you, buddy. Uh, I took an arrow to the knee. Look at me now. See, look, he gets geared up. He's going with his axe. He's on his way. He's heading out. So what's really nice is with this whole map, as it gets cleared... Clearly, this is going to get crazy. Like, look at all the different places we have to go just from guys mentioning them, right? But you can click this little button down here. It's part of the instructions. You click that, and there you go. So here's two places with resources that we've cleared out, right? you got to clear out the areas first, not just discover them. And then here, you can control plus or minus how many workers. So you're going to get 12 wood every minute, it looks like there. And you'll just see it automatically down here. Look, it's going already, right? So he'll work away until you're full, which I believe is 150. Because we've, we've got a... It's just 50 when you start, but you don't you don't get to do any gathering at the beginning, but here with this guy here. So when he gets to 150 wood, and then we gotta go get more leather, we're gonna keep upgrading the storage. But they want me to build other things. So it's kinda like you know, you move along the map here, and then here's where you're gonna build the next thing. Uh either this way or to the left. I believe there's a spot over here right behind this guy. And, and as you build stuff, you can more places unlock along the map, right? So that's kinda like a first look here. At regions of ruin and uh, let me tell you I have had a blast with this game and I'm gonna keep playing it a little bit just to show you guys what it is but I mean if this looks remotely interesting to you or you like this kind of thing where you can build little settlements and then go out and explore different areas of a map clear out bad guys get the resources if that seems remotely interesting to you <laughs> this game is pretty good you just just a word of warning you're absolutely gonna have to get used to the controls or use a like use a gamepad I just personally didn't succeed at getting my Xbox one gamepad working for some reason I, I don't know it discovered it said oh hey you have a gamepad you want to use it I said yes it doesn't work I don't know <laughs> maybe you need the 360 controller or maybe it has to be USB and not wireless I have no idea but anyways they, you know you get used to the keyboard you're, you'll be just fine but there you go guys I hope you enjoyed this first little look at regions of ruin if you did don't forget to hit that like button and hopefully we'll see you on the next one thanks so much for watching bye